you're watching the Alchemy Workshop, and I decided to, I wanted, been wanting to try casting and melting metal, pouring ingots, etc. I've got a lot of scrap copper and a lot of scrap brass from uh, various projects I do. And I went to Amazon and bought the cheapest kit I found. It was like 25 euro around there. And, I mean, it's claiming it's a graphite crucible and mold and everything. So when you get the kit, there's going to be this little crucible. I don't know what this is, if it's graphite or not. Uh, there's this, I guess it's quartz bowl and this little mold. This is graphite. And it comes with these very small tongs. Um, so I guess if you're using like an oxyacetylene torch, you can just do it like that for softer metals, like brass, bronze, copper, tin, lead gold, silver. I purposely wanted to get a small one to see if it'll fit in my forge. I use a devil's forge, a two burner forge, so it doesn't leave a lot of room to fit a crucible in. And I wasn't even sure if it works. Um, I really want to get into this, but I don't feel like going and buying a melting furnace and decide I don't like it. So I went ahead and gave it a try last night. Um, I That's the thing with this kit. That's all it comes with. These four things. No instructions, even the listing is very vague, so I don't know what this thing is made out of. If it's actually graphite, I don't know. It's not magnetic, it's not metal, but I looked some videos up. The, all I found was a guy doing an unboxing. He didn't know anything about it either. He didn't use it. And I checked some forums, and some people said, don't put this in your forge, it'll just destroy it. I already tried this a little bit with a torch, uh, just melting a couple pieces and it seemed to hold up okay so I went ahead and just tried it and threw it in the forge before you do it I highly recommend put all these in an oven for at least an hour I went for about two and a half three hours at about 150 centigrade which is like I think around 300 Fahrenheit you want to make sure you get any moisture out of it and keep them somewhere dry otherwise you're gonna to have to repeat that if there's any moisture in this and you pour molten le molten metal inside of it, it's going to explode. Also, be careful where you're pouring. Um, don't do it on concrete. Anything that's going to hold moisture and that molten metal hits it, it's going to be a mess. I went ahead and threw it in my forge. It took surprisingly longer than I thought to melt even copper. And it was a lot of small little pieces of scrap from sheet copper. Um, from the guitar picks I make, I always have this scrap and I collected it. I figured there's something I can do with it, but I was glad I can melt it out. So I gave it a try. Here's some quick footage of a pour. It didn't pour all the way. It was not enough material, but pretty cool. That was polished. It looked good. Yeah. All right, as it's going, I mean, it's a very small, so I had to keep adding to it as it melts. And I mean, just the heat radiating from the top, just trying to drop those pieces in, it's really hot on the hands. I got to come up with some kind of long tweezers or something to be able to easily add the copper in these tongs it comes with trying to you if you're going to try to afford to get some longer tongs because this is not it's no yeah no it, it's very hot on the hands i mean once you get it out with a long pair of tongs this works okay to just grab it to do the pour another thing before you pour it make sure you heat preheat everything you're going to preheat the graphic graphite mold and you want to preheat the tongs the tips so there's no moisture and it's not a shock in the, the temperature. Seen videos where they suggest uh, heat treating the crucibles with borax 
to stop the metal from sticking. I didn't do it. The metal did stick a little bit. See, this doesn't cop here. I want to be real careful when I take that off. I might heat it up first so I don't crack the bowl. Um, there was a chunk that was stuck at the bottom. So maybe I was too slow to pour it. I didn't get it quite hot enough. But after it cooled, this came right out. And for the first try, it came up pretty cool. Um, I could have poured a little bit more in. That's the thing. So I first, I think I tried this uh, bigger circle. There's the ingot I got. And see, it could have used a little bit more copper. First try, but on the bottom side, it made, I'll have to get a photo to show it better, but it made a really cool design. It almost looks like a Nautilus shell. But I thought it was pretty interesting. And I mean, copper, from what I was reading, it was kind of, it's a little bit more difficult to pour. You see, I got a little bit of bubbles, but not so bad at all for the first try. Then I tried this bigger bar. We have this piece. And again, I thought it was enough, and I went to, I didn't want to waste any, so I tried to pour one in here. And that came out to just look like a little turd. But this one came out pretty cool for a bar. And I mean, the bottom side is nice and smooth. I'll get a photo, so because I know this is kind of hard. This camera's not the best for close up and a cool uh kind of pattern on the other side i mean i did um once it just cools a little not that long then you could just it comes right out of the mold then just drop it in some a bucket of water and it's going to usually be kind of black on the outside you can use a pickling solution i just took some steel wool and kind of cleaned it up real quickly last night it was getting late i think I, if i polish this piece up that gets stuck at the bottom of the crucible that could look interesting too. My next step is I'm gonna try brass because I mean, I work at a shooting range so they throw the brass out every week. And I can, I mean, I've got tons here. I've got an unlimited supply. Before people go, oh, you should reload it. This is cheap range ammo. It's like very cheap stuff. It's not very consistent. It's not good for reloading. Reloading in Germany is super expensive. It's not worth doing unless you're a sport shooter shooting a lot of rounds and you would not wanna use cheap brass to reload. So this stuff gets thrown out, I take it, I make stuff out of it, and now I can start melting it. That's my next step, is I'm going to try to melt some brass and cast it, and then I'm going to try to make some bronze. So this is kind of cool for a little starter kit. I'm still curious about this crucible. I'm going to try to throw it in the forge, because, I mean, if it ruins it, what else am I going to use it for? So I'll see, and I'll get back, maybe a follow-up video on that. I was pretty skeptical. I bought this probably over a month ago, and I just kind of, after looking into it, I'm like, dude, this is not going to work. It's probably going to just annoy me. But it actually held up. I don't know how many times it's going to hold up, but we'll see. I'm curious, though, should I put borax in this, melt in borax and season it with that? I don't know if that's necessary. I don't know if it is with this, because the ones that they do that with crucibles, it's like a graphite, I think ceramic graphite. I don't know. It's not totally clear to me. It's kind of new to me. But I was not sure if it would just even work in a forge because the heat, the flame is hitting it from the top. But it seemed to work fine. I mean, the two successful pours, they came out, I'm really happy with it for the first try. So, I mean, this could be cool for jewelry. If I get a little bit bigger molds, I really want to be able to make my own um, knife parts. So, like bolsters and guards and pommels. I'll look into some different size molds. I'd like to get some cool shaped ones, but um, I'd really like to get some casting sand and just be able to make my own stuff like that. Surprisingly, this held up. I was pretty skeptical with some cheap stuff from Amazon, probably made in China. Like I said, I couldn't find any info or anyone using it in a forge. When you're using a, a melting furnace, the flame's coming from the bottom of the crucible and there's a lid on the top. So that holds the heat in. I did end up putting a fire brick over the front of the forge. That keeps the heat in and gets it better. And I tried not to put this directly under the flame. I put it back behind the flame. I didn't put on two burners, just one. So there's a front burner. I shoved a little bit back behind it so it's not direct flame on it. I was hoping that would help with the oxidation. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go polish this one up, kind of trim the edges on the grinder and see how it turns out. Very erratic, random shapes. I didn't know that's not focusing. But it also makes it kind of cool and unique. So this will be a fun thing to start playing around with. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Always helps my channel leave any comments and if anyone knows like I said about putting the borax in to treat this if that's necessary I'd like to know I'll probably do some follow-up videos and 
Make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss those. Till next time.